Welcome to Super Twins, the truth about getting three to four goat kids in one birth. If you're a goat breeder, hobby farmer, or just curious about maximizing your herd's potential, you're in the right place. We're here to bust common myths and reveal the scientific secrets behind increasing your chances of super litters, safely and naturally. We have these little secrets, and I am ready to share them with you. Look at this jaw-dropping sight. A healthy doe nursing three, then even four strong, vibrant kids. Is this a miracle? A lucky fluke? Or is there a truth to getting multiple goat kids in one birth? Today, we're revealing the secrets to making this a reality for your herd, while busting dangerous myths. You might have heard that breeding to multiple bucks is the secret, but let's be clear, that's not just a myth, it's dangerous. We'll show you why and what actually works. First, let's tackle a dangerous misconception, breeding your doe to multiple bucks in a single heat cycle. Some believe this increases the chances of more kids, but science says otherwise. Dramatic reenactment. Imagine a doe bred by one buck and immediately after, another buck attempts to breed her. Sound effect. Big red X and warning siren. This isn't how it works. Sperm from different bucks actually compete and even fight within the reproductive tract. This competition doesn't lead to more kids. In fact, it leads to lower conception rates and can even cause uterine infections. It compromises your doe's health and your breeding success. As veteran farmers will tell you, one buck per heat cycle, always. It's safer, more effective, and promotes the health of your doe. Now for the truth. The most crucial factor in achieving super litters is genetics. You cannot get a quote from a pint pot, meaning you need to start with a doe from a prolific bloodline. Consider this side-by-side -side comparison. Boer goats are known for quality, often producing one to two kids. However, breeds like Nigerian dwarf, pygmy, and myotonic fainting goats are celebrated for their high prolificacy, commonly having two to three kids per birth. These breeds are naturally predisposed to multiple births, it's all in the family lines. We've seen champion does with triplets, and their daughters also go on to produce triplets. This isn't a coincidence. Twinning and multiple births are highly heritable traits, meaning they're passed down through generations. To maximize your chances, choose breeding stock wisely. Prioritize does from prolific bloodlines, looking at their mothers and grandmothers for a history of multiple successful births. Beyond genetics, the doe's body condition plays a vital role especially during a critical, quote, golden window before breeding. Think of it as the Goldilocks principle. Not too thin, not too fat, but just right. A doe that's too thin will prioritize her own survival over reproduction, often resulting in only one kid. So a doe that's too fat can have fat disrupting her hormonal balance, leading to breeding difficulties. The sweet spot is a so perfect occurring. body condition score, BCS, of 3 to 3.5. This just right condition channels energy directly to ovulation, maximizing the release of eggs. More eggs mean more potential for multiple kids. To hit that golden window, here's a pro tip. Flush her. This means increasing her high quality nutrition three to four weeks before breeding. This boost in nutrients significantly enhances ovulation rates, preparing her body for a super litter. While genetics and body conditions set the stage, you might wonder if there are clues to predict how many kids your doe is carrying. Observe udder development. A doe carrying a single kid typically has a tighter, forward udder. In contrast, a doe with multiples will show a vast, spread out udder that fills between her hind legs much earlier in gestation. Other subtle signs include extreme abdominal weight and excessive hunger. However, the only true and reliable way to know for sure is a veterinarian performing an ultrasound. A black and white screen will reveal multiple sacs, clearly identifying each developing kid. This allows you to prepare One, accordingly two, for a multiple three. birth. <laughs> oh my gosh. Once you know your doe is carrying multiples, proper support is crucial for their health and survival. Advanced nutrition is paramount. Her diet must be rich in protein, energy, and essential minerals, especially selenium, throughout pregnancy. 
Selenium deficiencies can lead to weak kids. Providing this superior nutrition ensures healthy development for all the kids. Post-birth care is also vital. Remember, more kids often means smaller kids. Be prepared to offer extra support. Have colostrum and milk replacer on hand. Learn how to tube feed a kid to ensure they get that crucial first meal if they're too weak to nurse independently. Your readiness can make all the difference. Let's recap the truth about getting super twins. To maximize your chances naturally and safely, focus on these proven factors. Genetics matter most. Choose prolific bloodlines. Use only one buck per heat cycle. Ensure your doe has perfect body condition at breeding and provide superior nutrition before and during pregnancy. These are the real secrets to super twins. Ready to take your goat breeding to the next level? Watch our videos regularly, which help you track genetics, body condition, and all the essential factors. Comment super twins below if you liked this video. Do not forget to subscribe our channel and share this video with your fellow farmers.